Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today is the day the PlayStation beta for Call of Duty Vanguard has officially started, and man oh man, what an absolute disappointment it has been so far, at least for me personally, which I'll be discussing here in the video. So let's kick things off here with a timeline. Three days ago, I went to the emergency room. I was having tons of chest and back cramps, I was having fevers and chills, and it turns out I have COVID. Got the test and everything, got the swab up the nose, I tested positive for COVID, but I'm healthy enough that I should be able to knock it out with no trouble with a couple of weeks of quarantine. All right, cool. Well, last night, I lost my sense of taste and smell. It's been weird, but I'm adjusting to it. But then today, I hopped on the Vanguard beta for the very first time, and suddenly, I lost my sense of sight and hearing as well, because I can't see or hear shit in this game. Between Vanguard and COVID, the only sense I have left right now is feeling, and the only thing I'm feeling is sympathy for anybody who tries to play this abomination on a last-gen console, because mother of all things Vonderhaar, this thing is painful bad. This is as bad as like last gen Black Ops 4. Like really, really bad. This is horrible. I'm trying not to get too animated here, but God, this is this is atrocious, man. The game runs at like 40 frames per second with constant dips. The graphical fidelity is that of Medal of Honor Rising Sun on the PlayStation 2. The visibility is absolutely atrocious. The audio is all over the place for some reason. And also, when you shoot at people, things become super blurry to the point where you can't even see what you're shooting at. Like, literally, look at this clip here, guys. I had to record this frame by frame in my editing software just to give you an idea of what I'm dealing with. This is what it's like to shoot at somebody with the MG42, and the moment you start shooting, motion blur everywhere. You can't even see who you're shooting at. You're shooting at a name because everything else just blends perfectly in with that blurry environment. I have no idea what it is I'm shooting at here. And like I said, the audio is also really bad. Like, take a listen to this right here. This is supposed to be somebody who's like five feet away from me shooting an STG44. Throwing grenade! Not today! What kind of audio design is that? Not to mention, I can't see shit in this game. Like, like I mentioned, like, I cannot see anything. Right here, I come outside and I get lit up. It's like, wait, wait, there's somebody that was looking at me? Looking at the kill cam? That guy was staring at me the entire time. But going back here... Where is he? I can't see anybody in this game. I have no idea what's going on, so I can't see, I can't hear, I can't taste, and I can't smell. I, it is ridiculous, man. This game is like COVID plus if you're trying to play on anything besides like a PlayStation 5. It is for all these reasons that I hope you understand that my proper review of the Vanguard beta cannot happen until next weekend when I can play the game properly on PC. Because I don't know what happened, but the game on like an original PS4 is atrocious. The PS4 has always been just fine for me. I got it several years ago with the intent of using it to be able to play the alpha and the betas of every Call of Duty game that comes out. But for some reason, the beta for Vanguard here just does not run on a normal PS4. On PS5, it looks like a whole different game. On PC, I'm sure it's going to look completely better as well. But for like a day one OG PS4 like I have, it is absolutely atrocious. And you may be wondering, well, game performance is only like one thing, right? The performance of your console is a big part of your experience, but there's also other aspects of the game. Can you talk about those? Well, yeah, I can, but so far, I think the problem with my console and the fact that the game is not optimized whatsoever for last gen is really impacting my enjoyment of the game because right now, and it could be the console, it could be the game, but the time to kill seems to be a lot closer to Modern Warfare than that of Cold War, right? The time to kill is nearly instant, it would seem, here in this game. Spawns in 10v10 and onward are completely atrocious. 6v6 seems painfully slow in this game because the maps themselves are designed to to accommodate 14 on 14 and 24 on 24. So if you get Team Deathmatch on Red Star, for example, you can fully expect to get like total 30 kills on your team and that is it throughout 10 minutes like remember back during the cold war beta how every single game of team deathmatch on miami went to time limit well the same thing is true of red star here within call of duty vanguard like this map is really good in like 24 and 24 it's like super fun and super fast paced and enjoyable if it's like 14 on 14 or 24 and 24 
but 6v6, it's really bad. And for some reason, this is something that just boggles my mind. I forgot to mention it in yesterday's video, but I'm going to talk about it here today. The minimap in Vanguard is the same as what we saw in Modern Warfare 2019, which means if somebody on the other team is shooting a non-suppressed weapon, they're still not going to show up on the minimap. It's as if everyone is running a suppressor. You can get rid of that, however, if you decide to run a certain perk. There's a perk 2 in this game called Recon, and for some reason, Recon makes you have a normal minimap. And that's what it does. That's the whole thing, right? They got rid of the normal minimap just to give it back to us via a perk 2 that you unlock at level 7. So once you go to level 7 in the beta, you can then start using recon, which is going to allow you to have a normal functioning minimap. Like, why take things like that away just to slowly give them back to us via, via perk? It, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like, they're trying to fix what isn't broken. Oh, man. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I got up today, and I was excited to play the beta. The alpha didn't run perfectly, but, I mean, look at the alpha. Like, it was at least playable. Like, the frame rate wasn't tanking constantly. Gunfights actually felt like gunfights. Like, for some reason, there is a massive difference between the alpha and the beta for Vanguard, at least on, like, an OG PlayStation 4. So, my experience so far has been dreadful. Like, absolutely, positively awful. And every now and then, I have a decent match where I can like somehow just uh, adjust I guess adapt and overcome but again I'm playing at like 30 40 frames per second and everything's constantly tanking we're looking like like ps2 graphics like look at this this is a dog mind you this is a dog and that is my character this is what the game looks like for me <laughs> It is awful. It is so bad. But watching other people, it seems like the game is better. It seems like most of my problems are actually coming from the fact that I am playing on an OG PlayStation 4. People say, well, Nero, how come you don't just go get a PS5? It's like, dude, I'm not buying a PS5 to play a beta. Come on. <laughs> Like, how ridiculous would that be? I play the game on PC. PC is my home platform. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to continue to mess around and be very upset with how poorly optimized this game is uh, for this weekend. But when it comes to my proper review, like my full-on review and my honest, like, feedback and all that of the game, we're going to have to wait till next weekend. We're going to have to wait till next weekend where I can properly play the game for the very first time. It's going to be different for sure. What's kind of neat, though, is everything is kind of cross-platform. So all the time I spend grinding on this horrible platform this weekend, uh, that'll level up myself and my guns and my attachments and all that and they'll be ready for me next weekend and I can actually get a proper look at the game but so far <laughs> oh man this has been like the worst call of the experience I've ever had and that is saying something ladies and gentlemen that is certainly saying something I played all right I played Black Ops 4 on last gen and I would say that ran better than this game currently does on PS4 for the beta. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys here in this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Leave your thoughts and feedback on the beta so far down there in the comments. I know the vast majority of my viewers do play on PlayStation. Therefore, lots of you guys have either PS4 Pros or PlayStation 5s. So if you can actually play the game on a system that works, let me know how that runs for you guys down there in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider leaving a like. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you guys all... Have a wonderful day.